Okay, in part one, we made a western bridal. So for part two, I'm going to show you how to make a matching breastplate. First, do like the car and cut a lengthy piece of string that will wind around your horse's neck and pass under. Make it even like this, and then you're going to put it around the horse's neck behind the wither and in between front legs like that. Then like before you're going to do the plate and do a few knots. I'm going to do about four for this, four or five. So that's five. Then you don't need the two pieces this time. So you're going to cut one off, but keep hold of it because you need it for later. Once you've got the basic shape, pass it under your brayer and through the girth like a real one would go. like that. And then once you've passed it under you can cut a bit off but leave like a tassel. <laughs> so so far you've got this. Like that. Then mm -hmm. here where you've got the D rings on the saddle, the little silver rings in there. You're gonna get your spare piece of string that you cut off before and tie it around here, one end of it. If you're doing it with this model, the Prancer model, then you can use the base of the mane for a guide and most of them you can use it for really. You cut that off and then you pass it along like this and then it goes through the little metal ring. it again. It can be a bit loose, that's okay, you can tighten it up after. And then tighten it and then cut that end off. So you've got that so far. Then do it to the other side as well. It doesn't matter if they're not level with each other because they can just slide. And there you have your breastplate that matches your bridle. all together. This is the one we made earlier. bridle doesn't exactly fit Prancer because it was modelled on bluegrass, but that's it. So pretty much if you've got a western saddle, then you've got a handmade western set. In part three, I'm going to be showing you how to wrap the legs because sometimes it's a bit hard when you're doing a video or something and the trailers, the braille trailers do actually sometimes leave marks on your braille and you don't want that. So look out for the next part and see ya.